Hey guys, what's up? Excoundrel here, and this is a really quick video on how to stutter step. So we're going to jump straight into it, and I'm going to go into solo practice mode and show you how I like to practice. Hello guys, and welcome to practice mode. This is the best place, in my opinion, to practice stutter stepping because Kraken spawns very early on. You can get to a decent build, and you can practice in whatever mode you like. You can go to high attack speeds, you can do it at low attack speeds. It's a really good way to get your head around stutter stepping at the start of your uh, Vainglory improvement progress. And also it means you can practice taking Kraken by yourself, which is very possible in practice mode. Um, you can do it in a circle, you start to step in a circle around Kraken, try and reduce the amount of hits that you take. And eventually you should be able to take it. It's a good benchmark for your success in your stutter stepping technique. So, there are two main forms of stutter stepping. Uh, two point touch system and multi touch system. They don't really have much between them. They are both very good forms. Comes down to personal preference. I personally feel the two point touch system is more flexible, means you can attack different targets more readily. You don't get locked onto attacking one target. But I do concur that the multi touch system is a lot smoother and a lot easier to pull off. So, both of them have their own advantages and disadvantages. It really comes down to what you prefer as a player. So let's start with a two-point touch system. My first touch is going to be on Kraken. Now, when I start this, you'll notice that I attack a lot because I'm at full speed. So I'm doing it slow to begin with. I might get a couple of basic attacks in, but you'll get the idea. I am going to attack on Kraken and then move away. Attack on Kraken, move away. And attack on Kraken and move away. Kraken will reset, obviously, so you should really do this in a circle. So I'll demonstrate that now at a higher attack speed. Now you can see Two point tapping, two point tapping, all the way round in a circle around Kraken. You kind of run, running round and him ring the rosy, as we like to say in England, an old nursery rhyme. You do that around Kraken and you can increase the speed the more attack speed you've got. So I should be able to do this a little bit quicker. And it's all about judging the animation, trying to get as much movement in between your attacks. Can be difficult to time it properly. And you can see here, it is very possible, especially with attack speed, to just run round Kraken. Although, I'm getting very close to this being painful. Oh god, I got stuck. By the infusion as I'm going, there we go. And you can see I should have been able to finish that off. So that is just uh, the two point touch system as you just sort of circle round Kraken. Um, it is, oh god, Kraken's still here, no! Okay, okay, guys, we're all good. We're all good. Crack and crack and reset, and I got the regen. Almost, almost disaster. Almost disaster. So that is the two-point touch system. You can see that's very possible to just move around Kraken in a circle, tapping on Kraken and tapping to move away. And you've got to kind of judge it with your attack speed. Ringo is really good at doing this. When you proc twirling silver, you can essentially almost machine gun your fingers on the screen and he kind of gets a lot of attacks in. Uh, but the higher attack speed you get, the harder it is to weave in the movement because you're attacking so often. So at lower attack speeds, you'll find that you're moving a lot more between your attacks. At higher attack speeds, you'll find that it's kind of a bit janky, but um, you find that your animation kind of cancels a lot. You're kind of moving a little bit slower than you would be. So the higher attack speed you get, the less you're going to move, but the more attacks that you're going to weave in as well. So let's show you the two-point or the multi-touch system now. Multi-touch system is a little bit simpler to pull off. What you do is you hold on the Kraken, and then you literally keep your finger on Kraken and then just tap to move away. And you can vary the distance that you move as well by holding further on your movement finger. And you can see this is a lot easier to get this circle movement going with the uh, the multi-touch system because I'm just running around Kraken. I'm varying my length I need to, and I can tap more quickly when I get want to get more attacks in. I'm going to move around here to make sure I don't reset Kraken. And you can see it's a little bit simpler just in, in the smoothness of it. I've always felt that the multi-touch system is a lot smoother um, and it's a lot more forgiving as well. So you can see just moving around in a big circle around Kraken. I have lost my infusion, so this might be more difficult now. But um, you can see it is very possible by just holding my finger on the Kraken. I can run away. I can even buy an infusion in the meantime as well, get some lifesteal back. And it's a... Uh, it's just a lot easier to pull off the the um, the, the attack moving. You should be able to take Kraken. There you go. Take Kraken on the multi-touch system. So those two systems are taking it, and uh, both of them are equally viable. 
like I said, the two-point system, I feel, is a lot easier to switch targets. But if you're just dealing with one target, the multi-touch system is probably very, very superior because you can basically judge your movements around that one target. A lot easier to focus on your movement because all you have to do is keep your finger on the target and then all of your focus goes onto your movement. When you're doing the two-point tap system, you have to focus on both moving and also making sure you're tapping on your target the entire time so it's a little bit more complex but it also gives you the freedom of being able to switch targets more readily so both of the systems have their advantages it just depends on which one you prefer and maybe even which situation in the game you're in hope that was useful for you guys that don't yet know how to stutter step i know that a lot of you will already know but this was just highlighting a couple of ways that you could learn and practice uh, and how i learned to practice as well so hopefully that was useful for you guys gonna have another video out hopefully by wednesday working on another hero guide eventually i know they just take a long time to do because they end up being so long i've also been trying to cut down the length of my videos because i know that the average view time for my videos tends to be about six minutes so if i can keep it around that time hopefully you guys will want to watch all of the video that i put out thank you Thank you very much guys and uh, I'll speak to you again soon.